Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Past Season Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you for coming back. And speaking of coming back, we're back. Back again. Shady is back. Don't tell anybody's friends. This is Nebula Realms. Nebula Realms is one of the one of the oldest videos we did here on the channel about two years ago uh, called Broken Social Scene. So it's the return of a video series we've done previously here. Um, essentially what Social Scene was, Broken Social Scene was talking about, was talking about a replacement for the good old fashioned PS Home on the PS3. If you're too young to remember it, the PS3 actually had a social kind of hangout system that had you wandering around a town. You had an avatar, you could chat. Uh, people got into fams. There was a lot of Gorians going around in it. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a, me wandering, dipping my toe into the dark side of virtual chat. Essentially a form of Second Life or IMVU or virtual chat anyway. Um, hmm? See, this is a pain in the hole. It's making me log out every other person on my account. Huh. Which in my case is actually a proper pain because I am logged into like three or four different accounts at once normally on this console. So um, you're not off to a good start, guys. I remember this being a problem whenever I first used it back oh two years ago whenever it was actually first being baited out on the american psn and this is like the only reason why i'm covering it now is because the actual game itself the actual uh, nebula realms is now available on the european store and i'm curious to know what is it that they've done to make it now worthwhile and i'm just, I'm, I'm i'm finding it difficult to figure out am i on the right account now there we go this is the problem of actually having multiple accounts whenever a piece of software is being this assy about it. Normally, like, it just would log you in with the account that you're logged in on, but I'm going to bets because Nebula Realms can't distinguish one from the other, so it has to actually make you log out of the rest of them. There we go. Is that better? Oh, God almighty. It doesn't even, like, refresh itself. So, I know it's small gripes already, but I'm, I'm not going to give this any passes for being a passion project, but... Essentially, as far as I remember, Nebula Realms was a chat system designed by the people who designed part of one of the PS home locations from back in the day and have been continually redeveloping Nebula Realms to actually be like an extended worldwide version of that. And <sighs> I'm not excited. So what have we got? Uh, admittedly, the text on that screen is not, not very easy to read. But yeah, from 2nd of October, so there are currently updates in the patches on it. Um, patch notes, new plaza added, new game added, chrono race. So they actually have added, added all the games and stuff they wanted to have at the very beginning. Um, biggest problem that they had was obviously it was in beta and they were just trying to get the connectivity and getting people to be able to move without like crashing horribly. Sorry, I'm getting hiccups here. I think it's actually bile rising in my throat. I don't mean this is actually like a, like a, there's nothing that could come out good out of this. I loved PS Home. I thought it was fantastic. I love virtual chats in general. I actually find it a much more enjoyable experience than voice chat or text chat on any console. And I think that building an avatar is a good idea. Okay. Well, I mean, it's looking reasonably clean as it is. I mean, for other people's avatars to load in here. But, uh, right, we'll get somewhere that's a little bit clear out of the way. Uh, and there's actually people playing pool. That's not going to be very easy to do. And we'll hit triangle, access the side menu. And we'll look into the stuff that's here. So in, uh, it's a bit slow to load, but we'll, we're, we'll accept that. Uh, the the frame, rate, frame rate on a PS4 shouldn't drop this drastically. The little engine that could. The little engine that could. Alright, so... Okay, yes, obviously it's showing me all the presets. Um, this is looking a little bit cleaner than it did previously. Um, yeah, we'll switch to the female preset because if everything. If I can play as a girl, I'm going to play as a girl. Uh, body. All right, so you actually have serious amount of detailing on heads. Let me see here. Full head. And this is where we start. It wants you to spend money. So literally no start off by crystals. <laughs> so clunky and slow. 
See, I remember whenever I did this in the past, back in the day, whenever I did the beta, I'm pretty sure I did this with recorded game footage. Um, with the recorded game footage, I actually cut it down so I didn't have to worry about the time. Look at this. Mm. Let's take a look to see what's in here. Featured items for sale. Um, obviously, schoolgirl uniform. First thing you should really worry about. Um, obviously, the kind of things you're going to need immediately. And then sportswear. And then your swagwear. But, um, yeah. Back to school, back to school, back to school. So, obviously, there's a lot of people have designed a lot of interesting stuff for this. And I'm sure there is uh, free materials in there. But, uh, beards. Actually, you can buy beards. Fantastic. Uh, obviously, you can customize to your heart's content. But for now... We'll leave ourselves looking reasonably default because I, I, I just don't feel like spending one. I don't want to spend money on it. And two, I don't want to go digging to find out what free stuff is actually available. We may find someone along the way here as we do this, which is typical enough for these kind of pieces of software. I'm curious as to, is there a sound? Because I'm actually, is there any audio? Well, no, there is audio. There's the audio. <laughs> so there's people stand inside me. Would you not? Might not stand inside me. Oh no, whenever I respawn, I respawn back to that same spot. Weird. So, character interactions, you can actually, uh... Right. Chat box is L3. We'll hide the chat box. We're obviously inside a bowling alley here, so we've got, um... Uh, lanes for bowling. We've got our pool tables. Uh, relaxing place to sit and DR inks. Changing the music. Yes, change the music. I really don't like this music. It's it's too elevator. It's too like old music for me. Um, I can't interact with this. <laughs> oh, that's all right then. You know, I don't mind. There's obviously a lot of people who are actually like me, not wanting to spend any money on clothing, but they have got a crown, so I'm assuming they've got it from some game. Let's go to the Nexus. Game. Let us go to the Nexus. Let my... <laughs> I was starting to guess you get frustrated with it there. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I'm obviously building a virtual chat system is going to be a challenge. A virtual avatar system. But we've had so many implementations of it now. Is this not one of the simpler tasks of development where you literally are just trying to... It's, it's more about trying to get it to load comfortably and at pace and to run smoothly rather than actually building it from scratch. It doesn't feel like they've gotten that point past of actually like, we got it working! I'm like, guys... Getting it working is the least of your problems. Getting it to run not like ass, so it's not frame dropping every few seconds. Like that, you gotta, you gotta get further than that. Personal apartment. Uh, we'll worry about the apartments shortly. We're gonna take a wee walk around the Nexus here. See what there is first. Um, what is this? Oh, yeah, it's a shopping. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mall. It's a mall where we can go in and buy the clothing. Oh, God, it's so clunky. It does feel so unbelievably slow. What's that? Oh, Chrono Racer, it's new game. We will come back to you very shortly. Although the fact that it just sits there outside rather than actually inside a place or in its own location or anything. What is this? All right, let's take a look inside the dome since it looks to be one of the few places that we can actually enter. Four men enter, one man leave. Don't you think that's just theft of an idea? Uh, okay, dome. Oh, uh, it's a nightclub, obviously. Oh, it's turn the, the the view turning circle is so slow. Yeah, people are grooving out, partying away. Gonna be a fair amount of bodies in here. We got our blue guys on DJ. Good for them. Um, people in their nightclub gear having a good old fashioned time. Um, speaking in whatever language they are speaking in. Yay, many poses!
Maybe get a feeling that sometimes Nebula Realms actually has its own employees just sitting in there talking to kind of like make the noise because that's admittedly um you expect it the places to be a little bit more chat heavy, but obviously the big problem with being chat heavy on a console is that it needs the keyboard to be used. And not everybody's gonna hook up a keyboard to actually use to play on it. Most people will either want to use voice chat, group chat with their friends. Yeah. If you can think of a very innovative way to type messages. That's actually where your bit, like how one of these social apps is going to take off compared to all the odd people like me who would actually be standing around with keyboards. <laughs> like, like I'll have a keyboard hooked up to my PlayStation at any time. It makes it so much easier for a lot of stuff. And also I type really fast, I think, with a gamepad. Where is this? Uh, local park? Local park? Right, let's see. It is Leaf Park, sorry. I thought it said Loco. Leaf Park. So is this actually another big location? Big open space to actually kind of just hang out with your friends, relax. Or is it got a basketball court? Wow, okay, at least the skybox looks interesting enough. I actually like that tower. I'm assuming that's where all the apartments are. Oh, no, no, it's just a bunch of towers all around. I thought it was actually like the one big tower. Um, doesn't look very busy out here. Hey there, folks. There is a people. There actually are people just hanging out here and using it. I just I, I never think to actually be looking for this. After the after the end of PlayStation Home, I just accepted that this was not going to be a console thing again. But Nebula Realms are. I mean, as much as I'm shitting on them throughout this video. They are making an effort to do something that nobody else is doing. Like, I mean, there's no other virtual chat system that's trying to take off on the PlayStation console. I mean, they had their competitor. There was another service that was trying to like, stand alongside Nebula Realms. But Nebula Realms seems to be the much more well-designed <laughs> of those two. If you want to go and check out the other one, holy crap, man. Like, uh, the video is there on the channel. You can go and find that and have a look. But it was... Um, it was definitely a very proof of concept kind of thing, rather than actually being a full on developed piece of software. And the worst thing is, one of the worst thing is, I'm going to bet that that other version has its own audience, its own market, its own fans, its own people who like will follow it and keep with it, even though it may not get, like I, I, I haven't heard anything about it since. I have access to it and I haven't logged into it since I actually did those original videos. Maybe it's like, like they have done with Nebula Realms this time, Gone in to check it out just for the purposes of kind of re reconfirming for myself, like, yeah, this doesn't work anymore, or it's it needs a lot more support, it needs a lot more development behind it to actually get it refined and tidied to a point where I feel comfortable using it. And um, as much as these guys developed stuff for PlayStation Home, they didn't develop PlayStation Home, as far as I know. They may have uh, done a lot of location materials and stuff for it, but. It's the it's the background, it's the backbone of it that actually kind of like makes it functional. That's the bowling alley again. Um, I'm I'm going to try this Chrono Racer. Like I said, if they have a new game added in, like a, literally a brand new game, I have to give it a try. Uh, it feels like I remember I remember Salt on PS Home, which was like a, a tank game. It was really really good fun. I enjoyed the hell out of it. It it could be its own wee mini game unto itself, and I wouldn't mind it actually seeing stuff like that being transposed across to Nebula Realms. Okay, Chrono Racer. Basically, oh god, don't. Uh, it is a bit twitchy. Uh, dude, guys, uh, the menus look unprofessional. Like, that's the problem. It's like, it's all this like simple vestigial stuff that's all just UI de design. Your objective is to cross all the green rings on the track the minimum possible time without crashing against any obstacles. Total of three ships. Uh, speed R2 will increase L2 to slow. Oh, y'all. We got y'all. Uh, triangle will focus camera at the next ring. Okay. Track one. Plane one, plane two, plane three. Alright, so it looks cool, but it's hard to control. Um, We'll, we'll go with the easy one just to start with. We'll, we'll go with a plain white pussy noob vehicle. Oh, Jesus! 
No, 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 no. Oh my god. Have they literally... They... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. This is Superman 64 on a PlayStation 4. Why would you make this? The controls, the floaty awkwardness, and the twitchiness of the controls, and the fact that, like, you're going at a fairly constant clip of speed. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow, that is the shitsicle on the top of the cake. That is the cherry. The black glazed cherry of death on top of this fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Like, that is, that is literally Superman 64 just in, like, a minigame format. Ah. Uh... No, man. No. 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 I was going to go and look at the apartments. But guys, that, that's, that was really bad. Every single second of play of that made me feel uncomfortable. It, made, it actually it, it made me more unhappy. Just to control your character and that. And that runs reasonably smooth as well, compared to even like the characters running around the streets. Why? 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 I can't. I can't fathom it. Although I, I know it's a new game added to Nebula Realms, but wow! You need. You took the ring flying level from Superman sixty four and turned it into a mini game in your. Game world. You should have stuck with more bar sports. Why not darts? I mean, why difficult is it to code darts? That's... Hmm. I mean, you already have pool. Why not just do billiards? Why not build a casino out? Like, the same way... Uh, like essentially, like, there is... Uh, the, the Four Kings Casino one that actually has just a casino game. Like, simulator like this. It's like Nebula Realms, but all you do in it is play casino games. Why? What would... Uh, mm. I know, it's searching the server. It's actually, it's complete. It feels like it's going to crash out trying to find my apartment. And this is... I feel depressed just by playing this. I feel, un I feel unhappy. That's not cool. I need to stop this. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with Nebula. I'm done with even like jokingly looking at Nebula Realms. You, you should just watch about 20 minutes of me just slowly getting more and more uncomfortable and unhappy with it. We are going to. We are coming back. We are going to do more of this broken social scene stuff. I want to know what the other one's doing. If this is the one that's actually like finally giving its release out to the European markets, I want to know what the fucking other one is that actually still hasn't released itself. We need to know. I need to hunt it down. Jesus. Right. So, if you've actually enjoyed my cringiness at Nebula Realms, then please do feel free to actually subscribe, like, share the damn video, just clip out a bit that you thought was ridiculous, tell people about this monstrosity, please! But, um, otherwise, then, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a button up there, please hit it, I, it, it'll make me feel better. There's a box here, it'll be the Broken Social Scene playlist, it'll be the previous episodes I've done of this, where you can compare this to what it was to what it is now, which is not that much different. And over there will be the most recent video, and right here will be a video just for you, based on your user analytics and the things you do on YouTube. And hopefully it will not bring you back to this again. Ever! Ever! Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see all you dudes in the next virtual world. Bye!